So your pride as a Christian should not be on the basis of the fact that you know scripture. Because even the devil knows scripture. Are you there? Now, in, now we now ask ourselves, so how do I discern the voice of God in my heart? Because the devil can quote scriptures. Are you there? I told us when I was speaking to us concerning how to recognize the voice of God. I told us, I said, the devil can quote scriptures, but he cannot interpret scriptures in the will of God. That's how to catch the devil. Are you there? The devil can come to your heart and quote scriptures because he wants you to do something that is not God's will. But his interpretation of that scripture will not flow with the will of God for the scripture. It will not flow with the mind of God for that scripture. You know, there is a reason for which each scripture, you know, each statement in the scripture are written. Are you there? So anytime the devil quotes a scripture to you, you have to catch him in his interpretation. Look at what the devil was saying here. He, he will give his charge over you. So he now said, so he jumped down. Does it flow with the meaning of that, of that verse? No. So the devil can quote scriptures, but he cannot interpret what? Scriptures in the will of what? Of God. Now let me ask us this question. I know some of us are, you know, we are very innocent. And Let's assume Jesus has jumped down from that mountain. Pastor Demola, what will happen to him? Okay, she's scared. That's why I said some of us are innocent, so you, may, you won't want to talk. Yes, prophetess. Let's assume Jesus has jumped down from that mountain. What will happen to him? Yeah? He will die. Because jumping down from the mountain is jumping out of the will of God. Yeah? If he had jumped down from the mountain, he will die. Because, don't you hear from the beginning of this verse that Jesus was hungry? Meaning that he was 100% man and also 100% spirit, right? So if he had jumped down from that mountain in the spiritual realm, what it means is that he has jumped out of the will of God. So it will be easy for the devil to what? To catch. See, it, even you will be surprised that most of the things the devil promised to give you, the moment you obey him, you may not even be alive to enjoy those promises. Are you there? 